Hi everybody, welcome to our first Live on Lakeland exclusive in collaboration with the T-Bird newspaper. I'm Amanda Brisk here with Madeline Coingetter and Miss Steiner, the choir teacher at Lakeland, up, uh, talking about our upcoming fall choir concert. So you guys excited for the concert? Yes. A <laughs> little nervous? A little bit. What groups are being featured in the concert? Uh, this concert we will have freshman choir, treble choir, concert choir, and a cappella, also known as Thunder and Lightning. Ooh. How'd they get that nickname? Um, it's been in the works for a while, and this year we're really just trying to go with it and keep <laughs> it going. <laughs> How many songs is each group going to perform? Three songs uh, for each of the freshman treble and concert choir, and a cappella, Thunder and Lightning, will also be singing two songs to start off the, choir, the concert. What kind of music are they all going to be performing? Um, it starts off with all of them being a little bit more of a renaissance um, style, very classical music, um, and then moves towards the 20, 20th century, 21st century throughout the concert. How do you like the music? I love it. I am only taking choir two days a week, but it is very interesting to see just how it develops over time and how we grow as a group as well as singers, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Are there any soloists or special featured people that you would like to name? Yes, uh, the concert choir will be singing When I Fall in Love, an arrangement by Kirby Shaw, um, and it's a jazz standard, so Seth Weldon will be featured as a soloist on that piece, which we're all very excited about. All right. How much preparation has gone into this concert? <laughs> a lot. Um, <laughs> every day, the students are working really hard throughout warm-ups to work on fundamentals of music, and we just get right into rehearsing each of our pieces. Um, I don't believe there are many rehearsals that we didn't touch every single piece. So they've been working really hard since the first day of school. How much improvement have you seen in this group? Extreme improvement. Um, at first it was getting to know each other and just finding that balance of what I bring new to the table as well as what they're used to. Um, and just in the, ne in the last few weeks I've seen improvement with us understanding musically what we're going for, and we're able to discuss those musical elements a lot more freely. And I think that growth has helped them immensely for this upcoming concert. Are there any special features mixed with the, the choral aspect of it? Any percussion type stuff? Absolutely. We are doing a mass choir piece at the end of our concert, um, which is a South African song, and we are bringing in Mr. Richter on percussion as well as Caleb Anderson, which is another percussion, uh, percussionist and band. Madeline, uh, what's your favorite part about being in choir here at LUHS? I love the performances. I like when we have the performances and we do something extra. It's not just singing on stage, being there. It's maybe dancing or getting into a character or just having that time when you can actually show what you've been doing this whole time to prepare for the concert. What are some of the best experiences that you've had with choir? Um, most of my best experiences have actually been with a cappella, with Thunder and Lightning, over the past couple years that I've been in it. Um, we would go caroling at all the different uh, nursing homes, and we would perform for the Lions Club, I think, yeah. And it was just fun to go and carol and be a part of everybody's Christmas and not just the high school. So. Do you like to sing outside of choir? I do, yeah. I sing, well, I sing um, in church. <laughs> I sing, I don't know, just whenever I feel the urge to. <laughs> Any particular kind of music? In choir, I love it when we sing jazz pieces, especially, um, but just anything, really. Have you participated in Soul and Ensemble? Yes, I have. I've done it the past couple years. We haven't done it th yet this year, um, but the past couple times I've been singing solos. I did sing one trio with Edie Africano and Maya Peterson, which was really fun. We sang a song, it was a Scottish love song, actually, and it was just really cool to meld with those girls, so. And how have all of these experiences tied together to help you grow as a singer? I think it has strengthened me as an individual in the fact that I'm more able to speak out, and I'm more, I'm just able to express my feelings and what I have to say better. Thank you. Ms. Steiner, what made you decide to become a choir teacher? 
Well, in high school, I was always set on going to med school or some sort of medical field. Um, but my junior year, I had the opportunity of singing in the State Honors Project, and I sang in the treble choir under Beth Holmes, who is one of the directors at Millican University, and she was the woman who introduced me to the music education program at Millican, um, and that just really inspired me because I'd never seen a choir rehearsal that was so open to talking about different elements of the music, not just the notes and rhythms, but what it meant and what each individual brings to that story or um, piece that you're working on. And so it really inspired me to just become more open to different history and um, math and just all these different components that goes into music. It's not just singing, but it's really a holistic kind of experience. So as soon as you started college, is that did you know this music is what you wanted to do? Absolutely. I felt so comfortable at um, Millican, where I graduated from, as well as the previous choir director here at Lakeland. Um, and that is an interesting part of my choice being here at Lakeland, is that I feel at home. I felt at home at Millican, and being able to come home to Wisconsin and uh, pick up where another Millican alum finished off um, has been a really special experience. What choir programs were you involved in in college? I was really lucky in college because I got to work with many different directors. I worked with Beth Holmes when I was there as a freshman. During my sophomore year I worked with Dr. Guy Forbes and for the last two years I worked with Dr. Brad Holmes. Um, and throughout that experience I performed in Vespers for four years which is a program that brings 7,000 people from around the whole world um, to see and it's a holiday concert that is set um, to go through the beginning stages being very somber to the end being very uplifting and celebratory. Um, also, I've been able to travel to the Southwest, to the Grand Canyon, um, to the Baltic Seas in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, um, and it's just given me a great experience to meet new people from my neck of the woods in the Midwest to the Southwest to even internationally. So it sounds like you've had a really broad spectrum of music. Absolutely. And how do you feel about the choir program here at LUHS? I'm so excited to be here. Um, nobody thought I was going to move back to Wisconsin. I was always the girl that was going to get out. But coming here, I see so much opportunity and so much talent that I get to, I get the opportunity to work with. And I feel so blessed to have that. Um, we have four strong ensembles here. And I know that they can just grow and flourish even more. And what's your vision for these choir programs? Where do you plan on taking them? Um, already, I've planned a lot more uh, performances and events to try and get the choral students more opportunity to work with um, collegiate conductors and to work with um, other high school members. We have an upcoming concert that is new to the program um, called Carols in the Commons. And that will be a dinner theater uh, setting where we have some appetizers and desserts, finger food, along with um, the singers performing magicals as well as holiday jazz standards. And overall, how have your experiences both here and traveling in college helped you to grow and become the choir teacher that you want to be? I think my experiences have just opened my eyes to what is possible and growing up being a uh, in a, a, minor, a minority in a small rural community, I didn't always understand what was out there. And so being able to travel, I got to see the world and I got to meet new people and learn from them and appreciate the diversity and the multiple opportunities that are available. Um, and I think that's what's so great about high school is that you get to try everything and anything. And I just really hope all of the students here take that opportunity and I encourage them to. All right, any parting words that either of you have for the watchers today? Come to our concert on Monday, October 13th <laughs> at 7 p.m. in the LUHS Auditorium. All right, this has been Amanda Brisk with Madeline Coingetter and Ms. Steiner. Thank you.